Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Floor Planner. My name is Bob, and as I always say, I am here for customer success. I'm here for you all. Um, this is our monthly uh, video clip to go ahead and talk about the updates uh, for the platform here at Floor Planner that were added uh, last month um, for the month of May 2022. We have we have three of them that I want to go ahead and showcase for you today. So let's get started. Um, these updates that keep happening and occurring for you automatically in the Floor Planner platform um, are listed for you. Um, so you can go ahead and see them on your screen. And when you're on your home page, as I am right now on my dashboard, upper left-hand corner, there are those four squares up there. That's your profile tab. If you select your profile tab up there, it tells you all about yourself and your account. And on the right-hand side, on the right-hand sidebar, there's the new features list right here. And the most current update is posted here at the top. If you hit the more button in the upper right-hand corner of the new features tab, you will be sent to a, another page right here, which will actually open this tab, showcasing for you the list of all the updates. So I'm going back um, prior to May, uh, where we left off, which was back in April. And our last update that we talked about were the floor scanner updates. Hope you've had a chance to explore floor scanner. It's, it's totally awesome. Um, then moving into May, we have a new feature that came out there for browsing brands. These would be like uh, business and enterprise accounts with Floor Planner that are creating their own uh, assortments of products and they're sharing them with the Floor Planner community. And there's also the autosave feature that's been added. Uh, of course, we were doing manual saves because we're always working on, on a web-based program. So you always want to be saving this information to the cloud instantaneously. And Floor Planner now has autosave, um, which is really a cool feature. And lastly, we're going to take a peek at the room type menu that has been added a little bit easier um, to identify the color codes and the naming structure for the structures that you create your individual rooms and how we're identifying them. So let's start and take a look a little bit deeper at the Browse Brands feature that was added uh, in the month of May. Uh, a new tab was added to the objects sidebar. Uh, this allows you to browse through the collections of various brands that have their furniture in Floor Planner and the Floor Planner platform. So let's go live into my Floor Planner account for a second. And let's go ahead and maybe go into my projects and open up one of my projects, the level two project out there, take a peek. Okay, just have an empty room out there. And, you know, we're going to furnish it. So if you go over on your left hand stack over here of your icons, one of those over there is the furniture tab, which is certainly where all of the 3D objects are stored, your three-dimensional assets. Um, and it's not just furniture, everything's inside there. Um, but we're going to talk about the brands and collections. So let's just hit that furniture tab. And when you open that up, you notice that we have categories listed at the top and a brands tab now up there. Uh, and the categories, certainly these are the subdivisions of the 150,000 plus assets inside Floor Planner's general library. Uh, cool thing about those furnishings and accessories is that the general library inside Floor Planner, certainly you can change the width, depth, and height of those items. So find the item that's uh, most like the item of your client's existing or what you're specifying, and then change the actual dimensions to be the true dimensions of your piece. But now we have also the brands uh, as they are listed right here. If you go to the brands tab, you'll notice there's different collections now available to you uh, that are being shared uh, from these wonderful vendors uh, and retailers out there. So, you know, like Crate and Barrel, Ethan Allen, Our House, CB2, Room and Board, Mitchell Gold, Bothell Williams, really fabulous collections out there. Now, these are, these are real products uh, and very specific. Um, so if we go into something like, by example, let's say we're going to look at Ethan Allen out there. Look at Ethan Allen, you start getting into the Ethan Allen collection. And also inside there, you say, okay, well, there's over, okay, 4,772 4, products. Wow. Okay, so if you go ahead and click on that tab and say, let's see all of them. 
here are, there's the Ethan Allen header up here for the brands that you're going to be searching for. And you can go into subdivisions in there. You're going to be looking for living room or dining room or bedroom or accessories and just start breaking this down. Uh, maybe look at the living rooms. And your search engine still works in here also, as you're used to. So you can, they were in the living room areas. We can start looking for, you know, sofas. And start looking for sofas. These are all your products, obviously, through the header up here of the Ethan Allen brand that's available to you. And just go ahead and select your item that you like and left click and drag and drop, just as you're familiar with working with Inside Floor Planner. Um, and selecting that sofa currently, there it is. Um, you'll notice that you cannot change the dimensions on those products because these are real products that are out in the world. No longer are they generic type pieces. Um, so you're able to rotate them and we can delete those items, but you also have something really beneficial with the brands as the individual retailers and vendors have selected as they've created these 3D uh, assets for you to utilize. Uh, if you go to the fabrics, in here, you're going to start seeing that they have their fabric changes. Uh, something maybe you're not used to having uh, this great tool with some of the generics that are out there inside Floor Planner, but these specific items have these wonderful opportunities to go ahead and change out materials. And in some cases, materials and finishes like the different woods and, and stains and such that are on the different lakes of the products. So you have a lot of additional flexibility um, actually going right to these specific retailers and vendors um, to see the actual products that they are showcasing. And you have a really cool feature in there that with these particular items, like this, with this one sofa that we've just pulled up here, you can hit the visit store tab in here and it'll take you to another link that'll take you to the specifications on their website about this particular item so you can learn more about it and also into that retailer's e-commerce. You know, how would you actually purchase or order this item? Um, really, really cool benefit to have these brands available to you because I think you understand the diversity as to you know the, how many numerous brands we have available um, that are also engaged with the floor planner platform and we in the floor planner community have the benefit of having them available to us. So really enjoy searching for the brands. Take a peek, see what we got out there. Then beyond the brands, we're talking about the autosave. Yay, we've been waiting for this autosave. So if we go back for a second, it's already been happening as we've been working on this little project as we were adding a piece of furniture out there. Um, notice up here, the save button, is now grayed out and it has that cute little green check mark in there saying, yep, yeah, it's been saved. Yay, great. It is saving every three seconds uh, in an autosave feature for you. So as you continue your work, you don't have to keep hitting the save button constantly. It's again, knowing that it's happening every three seconds. When you make a modification or change in there, let's maybe look at the crate and barrel for a second. Look at their collections. We've just been playing with this. And um uh, Maybe we're just going to take this little chair and drag it in here for a second. Take a look at the save button up there. And I said twirls around for a second. So knowing that we added a new item in there, now it's done. And again, we didn't select the save button. That happened automatically. We made a modification change, checks for that every three seconds, and it went ahead and saved it to the cloud. So we're safe. From there, we'll be able to go back to our homepage, close out of our project with no problem. Now, um, maybe with that autosave transpiring, um, maybe for some reason you didn't want to save and for the most part you do want to save, of course, but maybe you wanted to go back in time. I wanted, I wanted it the way it was five minutes ago or a little bit longer. If you actually select and left click on the save button up here, you'll notice that you have a time speed, you can go actually back in time. So you just determine as to want well, to go back 29 seconds ago, you can select that button and it'll actually restore to the time period previous or three minutes ago when we didn't have that chair in there, or we'll just go back to current again. So you do have the ability for some reason you did an auto save and you had to go back in time, you did not want it to save, you can hop back into time back into the history very easily with these tabs over here. So let's go back for a second. And that's your autosave feature. Let's see our updates again. Uh, yep, I think we got that all covered. Now.
let's talk about the different room type menus. So let's go back to our room that we created over here. Now I created a structure, you know, 20 foot by 25 foot room. The room has no identity to it. Rooms, rooms and structures that you create don't know what they are until you tell them what they are. So, you know, that could be with a label. Certainly we do have text boxes that you can drag and drop into the floor planner through the I tab over here on the left-hand side. And you can actually place labels and we could, like I said, a text box, but this, this doesn't really tell the room what it is. It's just a label. Um, room types are more valuable and you get the benefit of a label. So if we go ahead and left click on this room, remember left click on anything, it'll actually then give you the left-hand sidebar. Uh, by selecting the room, left-hand sidebar gives you all the information about that room and the variables, the things that you can change about that. And one of them you can see listed up here is the room type. And as rooms are being created, they don't know what they are until you tell them, so it's unnamed. So I have an unnamed room type. Okay, so if you select that room type tab, this is new. Now you can see all the opportunities as to what you can name this room. Um, we can go in here and say, you know, what kind of category if we're working in a residential home, we're looking at a house. So within a house, these are the different room types that are available in the default inside floor planner. And in that default, not only are the names of the rooms listed over here as they're going to be identified over here right now, it's like living room is being identified in that space, but there's also color codes and color blocking in here. This is really cool when you're certainly working in the real estate uh, business, or if you're working in interior design or architecture, when you're trying to give a proposal to somebody as to diagrammatically representing uh, an entire floor of a building and showing different rooms by different color blocking. Um, to identify these color blocks in your room, upper right hand corner in your 2D view, there's that blue, blue, blue button up there. Select that. This is the color code identification. So if you want to do an entire floor of a building, you can do so. Co identify the room types in each individual room. Hit that blue button, send this out for an export, and you have a nice color-coded diagram of that floor plan. And just to show you that maybe you identified that room as a kitchen, you see the color blocking change, again, bedroom, etc. But the room type name is associated with it. And there's a little bit of somewhat artificial intelligence going on there that, that's certainly identifying the color blocking that goes with that. And in the future, talking about room styles and room style collections of furniture that are related to the room types. So really good to get familiarized with identifying room types as you create your new structures. Um, we'll go back to the living room on that. And with that room type identified, we've got that color code going on. And of course we can go back to the brown square up here, which gives you that entity up there also, which is showing the materials that are showcased inside that room. So those are three new updates for the month of May, the room type menu identification for sure. And the autosave feature, which has been long in the waiting, happy that it's here now, that's great. And browsing those brands uh, and keep watching for the new brands and retailers and the different um, vendors that are coming on board with Floor Planner. This collection is growing uh, and growing quickly as Floor Planner is becoming more and more popular around the world. So uh, enjoy these new features. Um, and remember, you're always invited, certainly, to come on back. And I do have our live webinars going on on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we'll give you some live instruction. Otherwise, uh, certainly watch for this recording again for the new additions that are being added currently for the month of June. But this is your recap for the month of May. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Till then, have a great day. Thank you.